So if we're already too reliant on income tax, should the stage three income tax cuts, the only ones that are sitting there legislated, be left alone? Personally, I think that um, income, we are too heavily reliant on income tax. And I think if we look at what's going to happen in the intergenerational report, that will be, that proportion of our tax base will increase to 60% or so over mm. the next sort of number of decades. So we do have to look at whether that is actually sustainable into the future. And we know that there's a shrinking, as our population ages, there's a shrinking number of workers to rely on. They will have increased burden of things like HEX, housing and insurance, mm. plus all the growing um, debt on things like defence, on how we're going to uh, be built, rebuilding from climate disasters and adaptation and our ageing population and okay. aged care and health. So conversations matter, but so does sort of going, here's a suggestion and willing to campaign for it, even if it's unpopular. Is GST one of those things that would think, fit the bill? I think everything's on the table. When, when, when you look at uh, how you uh, gather tax, you look mm. at spending, you look at assets and you look at income. Everything needs to be on the table at this point okay. because we know what we've got ahead of us and what is currently happening is failing. So, because you, you were, I think before the election you were against touching the GST, now you're saying you're open to it, you're not saying... Ch I, didn't have a, I didn't have a position on GST before the election. Okay, but, yeah. so you're, you're willing to have that conversation. Um, when you talk as well around all the different elements of it, so it's not just, uh, you know, Here's the set taxes we have. What about other ideas such as um, capital gains tax on the family home, given how expensive our family homes are getting? Is that something that should be on the table? One, one thing that needs to be looked at is the housing crisis. We know we've got a housing crisis. There are people, more and more people are having to rely upon affordable housing. So, as I said, Allegra Spender is bringing everyone around the table, mm. both business leaders and the, the uh, social sector. So it's an agreement between people what we can do going forward for this country because we don't want to be burdening young people and families entirely with the tax burden for this country. We do have to look at a way that is fair mm. and so that people who are working, who are working hard, do have an opportunity to own their own house. I think that's only fair. Right, but what about the CG on the CGT on the family home? Because it's... Well, it's, it's, it's yeah, like everything needs to be on the table, absolutely everything, and I'm not saying one thing over another. I think the experts need to have that discussion. And sadly to this point, I think both the major parties have been too afraid to have that conversation, but we need to move past this short-term political cycle. We actually need to do what's in the best interests of Australia and have a long-term mm. vision and that conversation. It is a hard conversation, but that conversation does need to be had and I think it's unfortunate it's being left up to the crossbench to drive the conversation. The other element is sort of more of a user pay system, whether it's, you know, the obvious ones, road charges, even a family home being means tested for aged care, for example. Is that the other side of it? Because then you don't have to worry as much about the tax base. Would a family home's home being means tested for aged care be something we should... That, that would be... I'm, I'm sure that would become part of the conversation. But if you're looking at in specific taxes, I think something like stamp duty is known to be a very inefficient tax. And actually, if stamp duty was removed and we moved towards mm. land tax instead, then that would be able to increase home ownership by 7%. So, and that's something that the federal government can step into because, yes, it is a state tax, mm. but it does need to have support from the federal government as well. It... And then... Then also around, I think another thing uh, is the petroleum resource rent tax. Currently, if you if you look at comparable countries to what Australia is doing with our offshore oil and gas, there's okay. other countries that are their revenue that they are receiving from their offshore oil and gas is 20 times what we are receiving. And the I think Australians, has it. yeah, we're, Australians yeah. are being dotted. Okay. All right, yep, the government has a plan there. Obviously, you're pushing for more. But the plan, the plan I would say I'm, I am pushing for yeah. more because the government's okay. uh, changes are quite modest. What about the WA deal on the GST? Is that a bit of a handbrake on national coffers? Should that be looked at as well? Uh, look, I think that's up to the experts to look at. I'm not going to be commenting on the WA GST. Well, you could put everything off to experts. This is yeah. this special deal to give them more than the the previous carve-up happened? Well, I think that everything needs to be a part of the conversation, so that needs to be looked at as well. I'm not an expert on that. OK. Um, and when you talk about the holistic approach, because I know the uh, the TEALs, I know there's sort of different words, but the, the TEAL MPs, independent MPs, community yeah. MPs... Uh, independent. Um, ..have been big on tax transparency. Allegra Spender's Family Trust got $280 million. <laughs> Uh, it's offshore money, and so the ATO transparency report says it's offshore money, effectively tax not paid in Australia. Is that an area 
for reform? That's I don't know anything about I don't know anything about um, Allegra's personal tax, um, and I don't think I can comment on that. But I think transparency is a really important thing that we all need to be talking about. Um, mm. Maybe you ask that question to Allegra. I'll, I'll certainly put it to her. But in in the uh, don't you sort of read the tax transparency reports, or does this get your attention? I haven't, I, I, yeah, well, I'm sure I'm sure it does get the attention, but I think that's kind of a gotcha question, uh, which I'm not aware of. What do you mean by gotcha question? Well, exactly that. Yeah, but I'm just asking about tax transparency, and I'm sure you, you MPs take note of each other's sort of media and approach to things. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. What can I say on that? So you haven't you haven't read anything to do with that story. I have not read anything to do with that story on Allegra's uh, spenders tax. No, I haven't. Okay, no worries. Save your scumps. Thanks for your time. Thank you.